switch that old boy with it's the black watch. Because I think I say old boy or old man, like my first two words almost. Because some of the shit I be having on my head, I be like, oh boy, oh man, oh man. But I gotta get that flipped around, you know. If I wanna brand this properly, I gotta get that flipped around to say this is the black watch. Instead of saying, oh man, oh boy. But that has absolutely nothing to do with what I'm about to talk about. Um, I never consider myself an expert on anything. I think experts are professionals. You know, sometimes you go to school or you acquire a skill and, and they give you some type of degree or certification that you're an expert. So I never consider myself an expert on anything. I might be very good at some shit, but I never say I'm an expert because I think expert puts you in a place where you can just only go down from there. Once you say you're an expert at something, everybody expects perfection every single time. So I never say that I'm an expert. I might be good, very good, but I'm not an expert. Where parenting goes, I'm going to say that I'm a good parent. I'm going to say that I'm a good grandparent. I leave it up to anybody else to say I'm a very good or I'm a good and this, that, and the other, you know, just by what the way they see me move. I don't need to call myself a very good grandfather. I just say I'm a grandfather. And I think I'm a good grandfather. I think I'm a good daddy. I'm a good father figure. Anything that I do over and beyond might make me more than that, but that's not up to me to clarify. But when I talk about parenting, it's always based on my experiences. I can't give you no far-fetched notions out here like some people do. And unless I've been through it, I can't walk you through, okay? That's just the way I am, you know? I'm not a know-it-all. I'm a know-a-lot, but I'm not a know-it-all. But where parenting is concerned, I've learned. I'm a selfish motherfucker. I'm gonna be honest. I'm selfish to the degree that I want certain things for me, myself, and I, but I'm also a team player. So in wanting those things, I want the team to win so I can get my things. I'm rooted in team sports. So when I use a lot of my methodology out here, it's based on team concepts. It's never based on singular concepts. I'm always about the collective. The team, the team, the team, the team. And I don't think that a lot of people look at parenting from a team perspective. I mean, you have to understand so many single parents out here, who's on their team? Especially when you don't have that other parent down for the program. I mean, they're literally working against you. Because if they're not working with you, they're working against you. There is no gray area when it comes to parenting. You either in or you out. And some people think that they can be in part-time and then be out, go get their life on. I'm going to go get my life on. And then come back in and be a parent. Not understanding that getting their life on is parenting. That's part of your life. If you create the babies, you've got to take care of the babies because they're not going to be babies forever. And when they grow up, and if you didn't take care of the babies, now you got some fucked up kids. One way or the other, you want some fucked up kids. I know some people like to say, oh, then some badass kids. No. Sometimes they just some fucked up kids. 
could have all types of issues. But people like to just chalk it up and say they some badass kids. Well, badass kids a lot of times come from badass parenting. Let's get to the root of some shit. Y'all like to pluck off the buds of the flowers that had bloomed. But we got to go deeper. We got to go to the root of that plant. If you grew, you cultivated a beautiful flower, them roots are strong. Them roots are strong. Them, them nutrient cycles was right. But if you grew a weed, if you cultivated a weed and you didn't give proper nutrition to that plant, you a bad gardener, a bad farmer, a bad cultivator, you're a bad parent. But all we ever hear about is the badass kids. Don't nobody ever want to talk about the badass parents. And like I said, sometimes it's a single parent and they can't be rooted in a team sports concept when they're the only player on the team. They a one man band all day long. They got to score all the points. They got to get all the rebounds. They got to get all the touchdowns. They got to hit all the home runs. They got to get all the singles, doubles, and triples and throw a no hitter. A lot of pressure. They got to score all the goals. And when they don't do that, they lose. And when they lose, the kids lose. And unfortunately, the world loses because now you don't produce some bad seeds. Well, the seeds might have not been bad. You produce some bad plants. You got some badass kids. Where them badass kids come from? They came from some badass parents. Then the kids don't stay kids forever. They turn into adults. Now you got some fucked up adults who unfortunately are going to procreate and create some more badass kids. You have no choice. If you are bad as a child, because you have bad parenting, and you are bad as a young adult, because you have bad parenting, and you produce some kids, and you don't know how to take care of the kids, what you gonna produce? Road scholars? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm judging like a motherfucker. Like a motherfucker. Parenting? You have to be selfish and selfless. Yes. You have to be selfish enough to want the best for your kids and you have to be selfless enough to stop your life and give it to them. And if you ain't, you're gonna have some badass kids. Real shit. Black watch. And we just talking about parenting. I'm on the road and I'm just moving. And as fast as this vehicle is driving, this is as fast as my brain goes. And that wasn't new. I've had that in me for a while, but I thought I need to put that out there. Hopefully it helps one person. I'm gonna share it in some parenting sites. As a black father, I'm gonna share it in a in a black father page. They always take my posts down because they say it's not really what they wanna hear. And it's unfortunate because as a black father who's been through a lot of stuff, I could give that particular page, that particular group of black men some realism out here. But they take my shit down because they say, Oh, that's not what we're really on. But then I'll go to the page and see him with a with a Jergens lotion bottle talking about this is what I found up under my son's bed. 
I guess it's time for us to have a talk. You ain't talked to him yet? You had to find it up under your son's bed? You should have talked to him about all that before. Why are you finding stuff up under your son's bed? You jacked off. You had a son, you already know your son's gonna jack off. Why are you just now finding that? Where you been at, daddy? Stop acting like your son ain't gonna do what you did. So hopefully they take my post, listen to the post. I'm gonna I'm say, hey moderators, you might wanna listen to this because it has something to do with parenting. And as a black father, it might be helpful to some of these young black men out here. Hell, it might be helpful to some of these old black men out here. I'm only here to help. That's what the black watch is for. Because I'm a black man. And I watch shit. One love.